The best way to learn Siri shortcuts is by creating shortcuts. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create two shortcuts in this simplified Siri shortcuts guide. Let's talk tech. All right, so the very first shortcut that we're going to create is going to solve a problem for me, and that is this. My daughter, when she got out of school, she liked for me to text her, ask her how a day went, things like that. But the problem is sometimes, depending upon what's going on between 3 and 3.30, I might lose track of time. I might not text until 4 or 5, and then she have a little bit of an attitude like she's not important. So we're going to solve that problem today by setting up a shortcut that's going to automatically text her, ask her how was her day. But more importantly, it's not going to send the same text every day. It's going to randomize different text messages to send each day so she won't pick up on the fact that it's not me texting her, but it's shortcuts. And to pull this off, we're going to dip our toe into automation. Let's dig into this shortcut. All right, so here we are on my iPhone. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over the shortcuts. Now, really quickly, I'm going to show you a brief overview of the Shortcuts app just in case this is your first time ever using it. So the first thing we're going to do is right here, you can see where we have Shortcuts. So these are all the app, these are all the shortcuts that I've created at some point, but it's really simple. You have down here, you have your Shortcuts you created, you have your Automations, and then you have your Gallery. We'll talk more about the Gallery later on in this video. We're going to touch on automation in just a second as well. But all the magic happens when you actually get ready to create a shortcut. And the way you create a new shortcut is you come over here. For me, I like building in folders. You can see I have an automation folder already set up. So I'm going to build in this folder. I recommend you get used to organizing your shortcuts to make it easier for you to find what you need. Because you can see right now I have 418 shortcuts. So to find what I'm looking for could be tedious if I had to look through this list. So for important shortcuts that I use all the time, I drop them in a folder. So this one is going to be an automation, and I want to set up an automation that goes out to the kids. So I'm going to say rename. So this is going to say text kids after school. I'm going to say done. I'm going to change this icon right here to green because mainly all my messaging apps are green with a text bubble so i'll know looking at that icon what it does the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to say add a list and the list is going to be what i need to randomize the text messages so i'm just going to come down here click right there and i'm going to say list and this is what i want right here I want list so you can click into it you can read what it does if you need to know what to do you can put anything up in there and at that point you can click add to shortcuts now i'm just going to type up some stuff really quickly now if you want to add more you just click this green button right here and you can add as many as you want you can have as many items as you want in your list all right so you can see that i added in a few i added in looks like about six of them now what I want to do is I want to be able to randomly pull from this list. In order to do that, what I'm going to say is I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to click exit on that. I'm going to type in list again, but this time I want get item from list. Now, get item from list will allow me to randomize it. So you can see it says first item. If you grab the first item, it's going to say how was class. I don't want it to send that every single day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick on it. And then once I tick on it, I'm going to click random item. So now it's going to grab a random item from this list each time. The next thing I want to do is I want to send this. So I'm going to click on send and I'm going to click on right there where it says send message. And at that point, I'm going to say, you see this window popped up and I was able to type in the names that I wanted, which is my daughter and my son. And we're in a group chat. So when I want to talk to them at the same time, I put them in a group chat. When I need to talk to them individually, then I'll text them one at a time. But this just makes sure everybody on the same page. At that point, I'll say done. And now this shortcut is done. So you can see it's called text kids after school. So I'm going to say done. And now I'm going to dip my toe into automation. The kids usually get out of school. I want this automation to be a time-based automation. I'm going to say automation and time of day is going to, I'm going to click down here. I'm going to say three. You know what? I'm going to say four because by four o'clock, they both completely out of school and they home or in on their way home. 
I'm going to say daily. Actually, I'm going to say weekly because I don't want it to go out on Saturday and Sunday. I just want it to go out Monday through Friday. And instead of run after confirmation, I want it to run immediately, meaning it won't even ask me. It'll just do it. And that'll just automatically start the conversation with me and the kids talking about how their day was. This is more of a prompt to get the conversation started. And once they reply to that text, then I jump in and start talking. So that's what this is. All right, I'm going to say next. I wish it was a way to randomize my time because while my son don't really care that I'm using automation, my daughter, she, dad, I know you're not sending this. It's uh, it's shortcuts or something like that. So I, I can't wait till they give us a way to randomize our times that we pick and not a specific time. That'd be awesome. I'm going to say next. And now I'm going to say, okay, so it's right here. But if I didn't see it right there, I could have did a quick search and just type in the name of it, which is text kids and you'll see it pop up. At that point, I'm gonna say add. So at 4 p.m. every day, this is gonna run and this is gonna automatically text the kids, which is awesome. Now, we wanted to just preview it right quick. That's our first automation. If we ever wanna delete this automation, we just slide over and delete it. But I actually wanna keep this automation. So we can come down here, click into it. We can see exactly what it does, run immediately. I don't want it to notify me. I want it to run weekdays at 4 p.m. And I wanted to run my shortcut. So pretty, pretty cool. Now, if we wanted to come back over to that shortcut, text kids, we can click into it. Right now it's running. Well, Naya and Jalen popped up. And you can see right here, if I click on send, it's asking me, do I want to send it? I don't want to send it. But you can see that it's actually going to our group messages and not to, you know, them individually. So I like that because this keeps the conversation inside of our group chat. So with that being said, I'm not going to send it because now you're going to know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to say counsel. But that's how this one will work. How's it going? Will here from Will Talk Tech. And my mission is to teach you how to make creating content effortless. All right. So that's the very first practical shortcut that you can use right now. The next shortcut I want to create is something that I want to help me with Twitter. My problem is I'm not, honestly, I'm not a sociable person. I'm working very diligently to become more sociable and get out of that introvert stage. So what I want to do is I want to create a Twitter, you know, shortcut that allows me to push Twitter. It asks me for an input. I type it in and then it automatically posts to Twitter for me. So that's what we're going to do now. All right. Now that we got that out the way, let's come back over here. We can look at our shortcuts and let's see here. Do I have anything up under here for social? I see share, but I'm not sure. Okay, so that wouldn't be it. Okay, so I'm going to click on social. I'm going to rather click the plus button and I'm going to create one to say social. All right, so social shortcuts. I'm going to say add and I'm going to come down here. And now what I want to do is I want to create a new shortcut. This is going to be renamed to, it's going to say, it's going to be send tweet. All right. Now I'm going to change that over to, let's see, do they have a bird? No, they do not. Do they have anything that resembles tweet? No, they do not. So I'm going to stick to message and I'm going to say, I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to change the color to orange. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to click on add. And I'm going to just type in Twitter because this is a really simple shortcut. I'm going to type Twitter. No, I don't want to open that workspace. So let's try that. Let's see if it's up under X. Okay, it's not. So let's type in Twitter and scroll down a little bit. And this is what I want right here. Now tweet. And instead of typing in something, if we let's say I typed in hi, every single time I type this in, instead of it putting something new, it's just going to say hi. So I don't want it to do that. What I want it to do instead is ask me each time. So I'm going to use the variable ask me each time. Now, what will happen is when I push play, it's going to say, what well, do you want to tweet? Okay, so I put a new shortcuts video coming next week, cutting the video for it right now. At that point, I say done. And now you can see it opens up this. It shows me my count. And all I got to do is click on post. Now, if we come over to Twitter really quickly, we can confirm that we actually did it. So I can say Twitter. Click home. Click my profile. 
And now you can see that is right there. A new shortcut video coming next week. Cutting the video for it right now. Pretty cool stuff. Now, that's how easy that is to do. This is all I need. This is the only thing I need to do. If I want to, I can change the icon up a bit. But honestly, I'm going to leave it as is because I kind of like it like that because it allows me to be able to click on it, know what it is, send a tweet, and I never actually enter the Twitter app. So for me personally, I like that a lot. Now, it is times where I want to enter into the Twitter app because I want to make sure I'm engaging with the community on Twitter and things like that. But if I just got a quick post to make and I want to stay in my workflow of working and not getting distracted, then that's what I'm going to use. All right. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you vote with your like and let me know so I can create more videos just like this one. Let's jump back in. Okay, so I know maybe you're into Twitter, maybe you're not. So let's create one more shortcut just to make sure that you're able to create your shortcut just in case you use Instagram. In this example, we're going to use Instagram because I feel like a lot of people use Instagram and not a lot of people use Twitter. So in this one, we're going to make a post from our Instagram, but we're going to use our shortcut so we can create that shortcut, same as Twitter, and we don't have to go into the app to do all this stuff. All right, let's jump back in. So in this one, I'm going to stay up under social share. I'm going to click the plus button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so Instagram post is what I'm going to call it. At that point, I'm going to say, hold on. All right, I already got one called Instagram post. I'm going to say post to Instagram. All right. And now what I want to do is I actually want to go over to photos first because that's what we're doing. So I'm going to say select. Let's see here. Select photos. And this is the one we want. So I'm going to say OK. And now at this point, it's going to say all. That's what we want. Now, if you wanted to change it to where it only show images, you could do that. You can uncheck all that stuff and you can do that. Or you can click on X each time. But in this specific case, I want to leave it just like it is. I don't want to modify it at all. The next one, what I want to add in is post on Instagram, which is right here. So I'm going to click right there. And this is it. Now, if I click play, you see it brings up some things. And now at this point, I'm able to, let's say, grab this right here. And you can see that now that I grabbed it, I can send it as a message. I could do a story if I wanted to. I could do whatever I want to do with this image straight to Instagram without actually going into the Instagram app, opening up and clicking on publish. Now. I personally don't want to do this because honestly, I'm not really a big Instagram fan. So I'm going to just close out of that. But that's how that shortcut works. It's really, really easy. And now you have two shortcuts that you can use. Okay, so what happens if you like all these shortcuts, but you're like, yeah, it's pretty cool, but I'm not sure I'm ready to start creating my own shortcuts yet. Well, I got you covered. That's really simple. We're going to head over to the gallery. The gallery have some pretty cool stuff up in there, and some of it you will have to set up, meaning that you can download it, but it requires setup, and others you can download, and it's just plug and play. Let's take a look. All right, so here we go right here. If we click down here at the gallery button, you can see all of these shortcuts. In essence, you have quick shortcuts. It helps you start your music. So, for example, this one will play a playlist. And the cool thing about it is you can click into that shortcut, and if you click onto those three dots, it'll actually show you the shortcut so you can skim through it and see what it does. And the cool thing about it is it can get songs from playlists, then it say play playlist. That's a very useful shortcut, especially if you like me and you have a workflow when you're working or something like that. Having that shortcut automatic set up to play your playlist for workflow, that's pretty cool. You also have some other quick shortcut actions you can take. You can see you can have one for logging your weight. You can click the three dots and you can see right here. In some cases, you have to grant access to that shortcut. So this, you have to grant access to your health, which is your Apple health. And yeah, from there, you can do all that stuff and it's going to log your weight into the health app for you. Like some of this stuff is really, really cool. Shortcuts is extremely powerful. 
Now, you can co collaborate better. You have photography shortcuts, writing toolbox on the interweb. So you have plenty of shortcuts you can pick from. You even have a morning routine if that's your jam. You're able to scroll through here or you're able to click right here and see select all and you're able to see what they're talking about and what the shortcut do, which honestly, in my opinion, is pretty cool. I love the fact that if I click into this shortcut, it brings this up and I'm able to click those three dots to see exactly what it is that I'm logging. And you can see all these shortcuts are very basic. It's like one to two, three step actions at most. And that's what I want you to understand. Like when you're doing a shortcut, it doesn't have to be overly complex. None of these that we've clicked on so far are complex at all. And all of them are fairly simple. You can see top stories. So let's click on that. We can click on three dots. You can see right here. All that is, is opening it up to a specific URL. And you can actually change this URL out and make it whatever you want. If it's a specific news feed you like, you can put that up in there. You can easily change this out and you can see again two steps really 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 simple and that's the gallery i mean and with the gallery it's really easy as well so if you wanted to let's say if i wanted to add in lock my weight i just click on add and then when i go back over to my shortcuts come all the way to the top i'm going to say all shortcuts i'll see it right there and you can see that i can say eight ounces of water and if I click into it, it's telling me I have to give this access. So I can say turn on and then I can say allow. And now what I do is if I click it again, I say eight ounces is already logged that water into Apple Health. That is awesome to me. Super duper awesome. Now, I want to share with you a bonus because we just created some apps that we can really use. And maybe you don't want to activate those apps from using you know your drop down series shortcuts where you're actually doing a quick search and asking for them there's other ways to activate them and i'm going to show you a really easy way that you can't activate them if you're just used to clicking on apps so we're going to go back over to one of that one of them let's see here i'm going to say social shortcuts i'm going to do twitter because like i say i'm not a big instagram fan so i'm going to do twitter and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open it up by clicking the three dots and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on the eye. And you can see right here where you're able to show in share sheet. You're able to do some cool things. But most importantly, I'm going to say done. Well, actually, do I want to share that in the share sheet? Not really. If I was copying, if I was pulling some text from the clipboard, then that would make sense because that would allow me to share from share sheet. But honestly, I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to do that. So right here, I'm going to click on this share. Once I click on share, you're going to see add to home screen pop up. I'm going to click plus. And now I could delete that text out of there if I want to. And at that point, I could say add. And now this is a shortcut. And when I click on it, it's going to run my shortcut for that specific, whatever it is it's supposed to do. And that, in my opinion, is pretty cool. Now, I could actually put it over here with my main ones that I use all the time. Like I could replace this Twitter app and put this over here, which actually I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to replace this Twitter app. Now I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to put it in the place. And now that it's over here, I could put it right back where my Twitter app was. And now when I want to create a app, when I want to create a quick post about Twitter, I'm able to just click right here and type up whatever it is I want to say. That right there, I love that. So that's how I'm going to have it. And honestly, that's Siri Shortcuts in a nutshell. It's really just that easy. Now, if you enjoyed this and you want to learn more about Siri Shortcuts and you want to know how you can supercharge Notion using Shortcuts app, you want to click this video right here. Later.